Just before we get this video rolling, I want to give a little bit of an appreciation to all the viewers out there and all you guys watching my videos and subbing. I couldn't do this without you. And I want to let you know that I'm working really hard at listening to what you guys are responding to based on what videos you guys are watching, what videos you guys aren't watching. It would go a long way if a lot of you could subscribe and press the bell and the like button. I don't normally do this kind of stuff, so thank you very much. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking right now. I didn't cheat, don't worry. But we want to know if the world record should be banned. And I have a couple interesting points that I'm sure a lot of you don't know about. I'm sure some of you have heard of early hammer manipulation, but that is what's used in the any percent warpless world record. Now, I've had this record, I want to say for about four or five years. Around 2018, March 24th was the day I got the world record for SMB3 warpless. The reason I want to talk about this is because ever since the early hammer came to be, the category, I don't want to say died, but people's ambition to go for the world record has thinned out drastically. The reason for that is because of how you have to do the early hammer manipulation. At this point in time, I don't even think really doing the early hammer manipulation is all that much of a crazy thing anymore. The debate that the Mario 3 community had a while ago with what was acceptable and what wasn't was an interesting one. So let's talk about a couple of topics and I want to see if you you guys can decide whether you think my early hammer manipulation not only run but the entire trick should be banned so the idea behind this trick is that you have a task video that gets the early hammer it eliminates all the lag frames if you have no control over the lag frames you won't actually know where you are you will be lined up but you won't be on the same frame because of all the lag frames now lag frames don't affect the rng frames if we look in the bottom corner by my webcam old mitch we can see that i don't have to follow the task perfectly at the start all i have to do is start on the same frame if i start on the same frame and get ahead of it then when i get to world two i can just wait for it where the hammer brother movements matter the most so as i'm going through world one i'm eliminating anything that has potential lag frames Let's take a quick look at one one and look at how i do the turtle section right so i stall and i bounce on them like that which normally anyone watching would be like that's definitely slower it's to make sure that one one doesn't create any lag one one lags anywhere between i want to say two to four frames one two can lag randomly one four doesn't lag one five does lag and if you watch you can see that i do something different here i stomp i make sure i throw them then i can go because there's only three enemies on the screen no lag. The game does actually lag when you go through the pipe transitions, but those are extremely consistent and they never fail. There's no lag in 1-6, there's no lag in the Hammer Brother battle, and there's no lag on the airship. This is where it gets very interesting. You want to enter 2-1 on the same frame because you want to have the exact same end level timer. If your end level timer is off by 10 seconds, then when it counts down at the end, it'll be faster and you'll exit the level sooner and you'll get a different Hammer Brother movement. I enter the stage supposedly on the same frame. Now, when I get to the end of the level, I'm gonna use a visual cue that you can see on the task right there. It's counting in green blocks. And when it gets to the last block, the frame that it goes green is when I wanna jump and grab the card. There you go. There could be slight differences between what you visually see on the stream with the task and my game feed because I'm watching my TV and I'm watching a task on my monitor and everything's together on OBS. So. It's, it's not always going to look exactly frame perfect. Move on to level two. And at this point, there's still no way for me to know for sure if I've done everything right. So I go through this level. This level doesn't have any leg. And we do the exact same thing right here. If you get a fanfare, it's over. You can fight the boom boom. And luckily you can wait for the precise frame that you need. You jump and you grab the orb. It didn't look like it's synced there, but it, it is actually synced up. And that's what makes this very complicated. That had to do with the exact moment when I started the console and the task at the same time. It's very tricky dicky. Almost the entire reason why nobody wants to do this, which I don't blame them. 2-1. 2-2 two, two, and 2-4, two, they have small little frame windows. It's not a single frame trick. I mean, 2-1 has three good frames in a row and then one bad frame right after those three good frames and then another good frame. So you have extra frames, but it's a very small window. 2-2 two, two, on the other hand is three frames in a row are good and then all the other ones are bad. That's kind of a nice window. The fortress is one good frame, one bad frame, one good frame. And what I mean by good frame and bad frame is that if I jump at the same time as the task, and I'm one frame off 
in between the two good frames, I'm not gonna get it. The Fortress is kind of a frame perfect trick without any consecutive frames in a row, which is kind of annoying. The result is you guys have seen it early hammer manipulation. But should this be allowed? At the time, I always thought this was allowed. My argument was when you watch your live split timer, you're minus 10 seconds, you're nervous in your run. The information that live split is giving you is altering how you perceive your run. And that's how I've always viewed the early hammer. The tool assisted speed run, I guess is what you would call it. The task on screen is not directly altering my gameplay. I'm not using a tool to make me better. I'm using a tool to visually help me, which live split has done Done that for almost any speedrunner out there. If you watch a speedrunner and they are, let's say, plus 10 seconds, they have to now go for a super hard trick. Well, Live Split has told them that. They look at Live Split and they now realize I have to do something different. And that has always been my argument. Now I'm starting to think, is that argument worth the compromise of the community and the game? Nobody's really grinding for this world record for years now because of early hammer manipulation. I got a 50-36 and then I got a 50-30 and that's what this run is but there are other tricks up our sleeve that can compete against this without having to do this the spade card manipulation strat the one we talked about where you spawn a spade card on top of a level it beats it immediately you're not allowed to use that in 100 but you can definitely use that in morpheus i want to say that's only like six to eight seconds time save nobody's actually officially completed a really good run to get a good in-depth amount of time i've never even tried it because I've been doing the early hammer manipulation. We have another interesting factor, Zone, which is another Mario 3 speedrunner. He was doing early hammer manipulation, but he was doing it on two emulators with a macro that starts them both at the same time with your keyboard. Ultimately, we had to ban that. It's too much if you use one key on your keyboard to start two tasks on the exact same frame versus struggling so much to press the power button and the emulator at the same frame because the Nintendo is not gonna be the exact same as like two tasses. And I wanna go on the record and say, doing two tasses with the macro that starts on both is like the top tier way of doing it. It will make early hammer infinitely easier. Should this run be banned because it's killing the warpless category? It's a trick that does technically use a tool and I don't even know if my live split argument is justifiable anymore. I mean, without the tasks running, I don't know if I could do this. I would actually have to try and replicate this without the tasks. The entire community has spoken about this and most people are okay with it. If we ban early hammer manipulation, I'm the only one who loses in that in that situation and honestly i don't mind it would seriously breathe the life back into mario 3. we probably won't see a sub 50 minute time we might because an, an original early hammer the og early hammer it's faster than this if you just get an og old school early hammer that's faster than this so you would have to go back to the uh get to world 2 die 600 times until you get one chance you just beat your time because if this does get banned the world record will be a 50 49 which is what i have non-early hammer manipulation I know that's a lot to take in and I really appreciate everyone taking the time to come and listen, but I, I am super, super interested in what everyone has to say and their opinions on this. I wanna start maybe grinding any percent warpless again, but I kinda don't wanna do early hammer. It's so hard powering on the NES and the tool assisted run on the same frame because visually I would, how am I even supposed to know? It's gonna be really important from what you guys have to say too in the comments and how everyone feels and how everyone relax, but should my run be banned? That's the ultimate question. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of one-sided video. I mean, I'm gonna be watching the comments like, like heck, man. Please voice your opinions on what you feel because all the Mario 3 watchers and players, you guys are all the community. You guys are just a part of this as I am. Maybe if we do get early hammer manipulation kind of banned, we never have to worry about it again. Early hammer's still allowed and I can come right back hardcore into Mario 3. My 5049, not early hammer, is definitely beatable. Maybe I'll come back out of retirement? I don't know. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Whee! Thank you.